Hello friends, so here is the botanical co uh, junk journal collection that I've made a little while ago. I've been meaning to share this collection with you guys for some time now. And yeah, I wanted to share it uh, here on YouTube and with you all first. And then I'm also going to be sharing it uh, with friends on Facebook as well. And the remainder will, well, I'm definitely be taking these uh, to my upcoming craft show with me as well. So yeah, um, here's a look at all of the journals. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Get lots of inspiration for your botanical theme journals, floral, uh, gardening, or, uh, you know, spring theme. So this comes with a little uh, eyelet there, and I had a red ribbon through here. So um, yeah, I don't know where it went, but I'm going to go ahead and put that back after this video. It's just like a thick uh, ribbon cord that came with this, really uh, pretty and shiny. So, um, if any of you are interested in any of these, you can go ahead and message me as well. And you can add a tassel to this one as well. All of these journals, you could as add a tassel to it. I have not um, included a tassel with these. This specific journal is a four, a four signature. And it comes with this beautiful foil uh, paper here, as you can see and it um th i believe this is the mariposa collection um i think it's from michael's i'm not i don't recall exactly but i had this paper for some time it's just so gorgeous and yeah i love all these uh papers and colors together it's just so lovely so a few of these journals um i'm gonna show you it's quite a bit so i'm gonna take my time um and show you the first few and then the last couple of ones i'm just gonna go ahead and skim through them uh, a little quickly but you can kind of get a gist of how they all come together a lot of these journals are very similar to where they follow kind of the same pattern as papers like all of the journals have this floral um paper so this is handmade floral paper there they all come with coffee and tea dyed papers vintage music sheets uh vintage line paper they all come with these doilies as well and a lot of these um thick um scrapbook papers as well and yeah just all floral theme and go with that kind of like that gardening uh, botanical spring vibe i just love it and i actually uh, made these i think like a little before christmas or after christmas um yeah so i was holding on to these for uh, quite some time i've been meaning to share these for a while now uh with you all all of the journals uh come with these lined papers um different kinds of floral theme and foil uh, craft book papers as well and the vintage music sheets and coffee dyed papers as well as vellum uh, printed papers like all so beautiful you're gonna see them throughout all of the journals so yeah whichever one um you pick i think will be a good a good one but i just wanted uh, to show you all here a nice in-depth uh, video of how they all came out and all the different papers in each specific journal so you can kind of uh, decide as well which one you would prefer or like let me know in the comments below as well which one was your favorite um i love to know as well as it's a hard choice for me because i just love them all so much um but yeah lots of uh hidden tucks or side tucks like this one and different kinds of pockets throughout the journals and each journal will also come with its own um little surprise fun pack so like an ephemera pack um with uh tags and all kinds of things little uh papers tags uh all sorts of different ephemera that you can go ahead and jazz up your journals with as well so i'm not going to share that with you here in this video but just know that uh upon purchasing one of these journals 
you will get that with it as a surprise because I wanted to keep something some kind of a surprise element to it and I thought that would be perfect so you will get a surprise ephemera pack um, with your journal as well so just wanted to note that there as far as the fair goes I was thinking about having the ephemera pack separately from the journal because um yeah I think that'll be more appealing and um also at the fair in person um these journals will be priced a little lower um as well because you won't be getting those same fees that you would get if um if you do it over the internet like on etsy or any of those uh different websites um but yeah if you want to purchase any one of these uh via venmo or um paypal friends uh, friends and family then that would also work too as long as there's no fees involved then you'll get that same uh price that you would get um at the fair as well and yeah if anyone's interested i can um, list any one of these journals for you on etsy uh, for right now they will not be available on etsy until after the the markets um but yeah i would also update this and let you guys know which one is uh which ones are still available and so on um i also did like kind of this scallop edge on this pocket here i think it came out so beautiful i love all the foil and the red tones with the strawberries there and yeah just all of these paper packs are just also beautiful sorry that was easy um she's guarding the door for me but um yeah all of these journals have lots of writing space as you can see lots of pockets um yeah so a lot of these papers even the ones um with full designs like that you can put your pictures on them or journal over it you know add a plain piece of paper to it there's so many different ways that you can uh, decorate and embellish these journals and make it your own uh, specific journal comes with the gold metal hardware the book corners and the eyelets to attach your tassel or um the uh, enclosure to enclose your book and you're gonna see the rest of them pretty much come with the ribbon around it as you can see um to close the book and this one has three signatures the last one you just saw had the four signatures so that was a difference with the gold um hardware as well uh so this one is a little different the rest of these that i will be showing you will have this type of enclosure with the ribbon so that's pretty much the biggest difference i think and then of course the papers are somewhat similar um as far as what type of papers come in all of them and this has the sewing all around it as you can see and then the lace in the front um so yeah a lot of sewing details in all of these journals as well different sized uh papers and you can see the vellum uh, sheet here all the vellum prints may be different throughout all the books but they all do uh, have some type of element like that with the vellum uh, printed paper and this one has this trim here on this coffee dyed paper as you can see lots and lots of space to journal um i do like to leave a lot of space of journaling and just creative uh space in all of the journals you can do lots of art in here, um, memory keeping, you know, store different things in those little pockets, um, all sorts of things. Uh, these are just so fun uh, to play around with and, you know, just make it your own. That's one thing I do love about uh, junk journals in general. Like, they're just so fun to, and it just gives you so many ideas um i feel like when you open this you feel inspired to create something um either beautiful or memorable and unique and um yeah all of these i think have something special to them um that make them all somewhat different um but then all very similar as well um, all of these, like I said, have that handmade uh, floral paper there and lots of pocket space. All of the specs um, and uh, 
page number a uh, number of pages in each book signatures and like all of that i'll try and um put it below as well in the description box <clears throat> but it'll be an approximate number of like how many uh pages and so forth i don't think i'm gonna count uh these pockets as a page or should i i don't know do you count the pockets as a, a page as well in the book uh let me know but yeah i always leave it like an approximate number uh, of pages but i definitely will write um how many uh signatures are in each and how many pages are in each signature and so forth but you can see i uh, love 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 that vellum uh, sheet there with the little birdies on um all the flowers there in the garden and it's just gorgeous you got the dragonfly the butterfly all sorts of different kind of beautiful birds and yeah i just love it it gives me like all this nature vibes and just gets me really excited uh for some warmer weather and just you know spring and uh summertime with like all the flowers and you know just gardening and all that it just gives you all the feel so really excited for that as well and i hope that um if you do um have one of these books in your possession um that you enjoy it and make it your own and just you know have fun creating on the pages um i know a lot of people do collect them or make journals and don't like actually journal in them but i just find this so rewarding and so fun when you actually put pen to paper you know on these um in these journals it just gives it so much more character and it's just so fun to do and i love to see you know what people do in their journals as well um so i was kind of thinking of doing a series as well like you know how i like to um, journal and yeah let me know if that'll be something you'll be interested in watching as well it will probably have to be a little later on but something um i was thinking of doing in the future um, but yeah, I hope that um, you all you like all of these and I'll go ahead and um, number them and um, put like a description and so forth on each of these uh, journals as well. So you can kind of know like them either by name or number and you can decide which one um, you like as well. So this one is like a more pinky hue. Um, you can see here I'm going to have a lot of um pinks and um pink dyed papers and all kinds of things like that so like the lighter tones you'll see here again they all come with uh floral theme papers doilies and um flo uh, foil as well these have the lace in the front on the border um i was also gonna put a plaque in the middle of them so you can kind of put like whatever journal it is like journaling or gardening journal or so forth so if you like me to add that to let me know we can definitely um add that in there um i just haven't got around to it and i didn't want to wait to finally uh list these these will be coming with me to my uh next market and yeah i know at my last market i did bring some uh journals and a lot of people enjoyed looking through them and so forth uh for my christmas market i did sell some of the uh travelers journals you can go ahead and check out that playlist um and look at the uh travelers journals that i um did there and some of them um i sold at the fair as well and a lot of people just enjoy just flipping through and looking through the pages the, they're just also gorgeous and just so fun and those tra traveler journals i actually added a lot of details um to each individual page so they were a lot smaller than these but just had more detail in the, in each page but you can see here all of these pages too are also uh different and unique and just really fun um pages here in all of these journals and very themed um as well to uh gardening and such as you can see and plants in general flowers and all that so 
these all are are very themed and if someone really enjoys pink this pink one might be uh your thing i think i have two or three of these with a lot of the uh, pink dyed papers you can see this is another one of the vellum sheets they're um just also gorgeous and it's kind of like that watercolor effect on the vellum it just looks so beautiful and then uh, these have like that border punch to this pocket and i just wanted to show you kind of how that looks against this white sheet there you can see uh the border a little better there it's also florals uh little flowers there and we have some graph paper yellow uh note line paper there as well you can see how the vellum uh, looks against that paper versus the pink there um so you, you can kind of decide like which one you prefer uh better again let me know in the comments below um very curious uh some people really enjoy like these lighter uh pastel colors again these remind me of, of, of spring and so on so yeah let me know in the comments below uh, which one was your favorite so this one is very similar to the last one except that this one has four signatures instead of three the last one i just showed you had three signatures and um yeah so that's pretty much it uh they all do have again very similar pages and I'm just going to give you a nice close-up of the gold foiling there. And yeah, I just love all these papers again. I can't uh, say it enough. But uh, they all, again, have different uh, prints on the vellum as well. But each of them will have a vellum in there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I think at this point will be a good time to do, um, to play some music. So enjoy the flip through.
Along with the ephemera pack, you'll also get a little note from the maker with your journal as well. And so I normally keep them in this little uh, bin here um, on the table at the market. But um, yeah, I'm not sure I might end up displaying them a little bit differently. I'm not going to sure if I'm going to have all of them like that. Um, I do want to display them a little bit differently at this market. So let's see how much space I have and what I end up doing. But yeah, stay tuned for those market videos as well. I will be posting them um, more towards uh, the end of the month, uh, closer towards market day. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, you found um, it enjoyable and what have you, please don't forget to uh, give the video a big thumbs up, like the video. It just helps um it get boosted out to more people and yeah i will see you in another video don't forget to like and subscribe bye